Alex Navarro. What up, Abby Russell? Hello. Are you ready to do some farming? Uh, always. Are you ready to uh, smelt some stuff? Uh, I'm a huge smelter. You ready to maybe make some relationships within the people in the town? That I'm less enthusiastic okay. about. Okay. Honestly, same. Uh, great. This is my time at Portia. Also sometimes pronounced my time at Portia. I'm going to go with Portia. That's what I've been going with, but uh, the characters will sometimes speak. There's not a ton of voice acting, but I have heard them say it both ways. Okay. So there doesn't seem Maybe to be a, a ton regional, of consistent. Like a regional dialect. Yes, thing. within the town, within yeah. the game. Yeah. Yeah. That let's works. say that. So this is me. This is my character. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that the curly hair options were somewhat limited. Oh, yeah. Okay. Also, I have this like kind of top knot ponytail, and I made it as long as possible, but it just kind of goes inside of my head. Yeah, it's doing some stuff. I'm on board with. You know what? I don't hate it. It kind of looks like you have a hair squid that's just riding your skull. Wow. Thank you so much, Alex. No problem. Um, so this is my home. As you can see, it's pretty barren, but because I have this home, this is very standard. I think one of these types of games... The stuff in my home will make it so when I sleep, I get like extra stamina the next day or whatever it is. Video game protagonists really live in apartments like this and they don't see a problem. Yes. And you know what? I did for a time too, but now I have enough furniture. Anyway, let's nice exit. Chair. Thank you. I found it in a ruin. Wait, an ancient ruin had a weird like little like happy pig chair in uh -huh. it? What kind of, the hell kind of ruined civilization were you, so, were you plundering? This game has some light lore to it. Okay. Um, I'm not super deep into it. That's not necessarily my favorite part of this game or mm -hmm. why I come to it. But from what I've kind of gathered is I'm a person. I was inherited this farm, so I came to live in this town. I'm a new builder. That's what it's called. There are other builders in the town. And as a builder, I can go and I can collect uh, sort of commissions, I think is what they're called. Which is basically like, hey, I need, you know, four wooden boxes, or I need this, or I need that, and there's usually a time limit to it. Right. That's how you make money, that's how you make relationships, it's sort of part of the economy of the game. But as far as the lore goes, I am a builder, and I kind of compete with some of the other builders, too. Okay. But this is my farm. Wait, do you live in the wood store? I live in the wood store. They okay. told me to name it before I really knew what I was getting into, so I call it the wood store. Because right, why then. not? Yeah, and this is Farm Abbey. I don't know if we've gone over that. That's what my name is. Yes. Um, so this is my sort of little workshop and farm. Okay. Um, and this is kind of a lot of how this game goes. I like the crafting system in this game. It basically mm -hmm. works. You have like each different layers and levels to it. But I think the way it works is pretty smartly done in the sense that it's not super difficult to kind of figure out what I need. Um, so this is sort of the basic thing. I'm given this kind of crafting station when I first started. I built all of these other pieces around it. Uh, but let's say I'll show you here. So I'm currently building this thing. I don't remember what it's called. but So I can see here a civil furnace. Okay. That's, that'll make stuff later on. Uh, but I can look at my handbook and see the stone furnace is very easy to make. I need wood and I need a stone stool. And it even tells me the directions of like how to make said stool. Um, I'm going to turn the gameplay down just a pinch here while we keep going. It's there good music. Go. It's not that good. Yes. And it also honestly gets a little bit repetitive. Mm. Um, and it's... Not always the best about looping, uh, oh, okay. but that's fine. Anyway, so this is sort of the bulk of the game of like, okay, great, I need this stone furnace because then I need to make, uh, you know, I need to make copper, like a copper bar to mm -hmm. make this grinder, which I need to make for, uh, you know, these copper blades to then make for the civil cutter, so on and so forth. So, so you all this stuff see, is pretty well communicated. Yes, I think so. And it, it, it takes a little bit of getting used to as far as like, okay, what, how do I figure this out? Where, where do I need to go? What do I need? But then once you kind of figure out the sort of layer system, uh, I think it, it does a pretty good job. Okay. And it, it's satisfying to build this stuff. I don't ever feel like I'm like, uh, I don't know, grinding too much for stuff. And are you just essentially waiting for that thing to get manufactured at so this stage? I So this thing, I need, what do I need for it? I need bronze plates and marble planks. Okay, so once you have those things, it'll just build it. Sort of. So I put in a bunch of stuff to craft, um, I was crafting bronze bars. Mm -hmm. So I put in a bunch of copper ore and a bunch of tin ore to make these bronze bars. I made them into both things. I think I have enough. It takes a good amount of time, you know, in-game time to do these things. Mm -hmm. And now I can go to this thing and I can make some bronze plates. Um, how many, actually, a nice thing too is I can also go to this and I see, okay, I need five uh, and I can make four, I believe is what that's saying. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to need more bronze bars. I'm going to need at least three more. So let's go. Get those a cooking. You need bars. Mm-hmm. Okay. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three. Good. So that'll take 10 in-game hours. Okay. And this will take seven anyway. So. 
Obviously, that's thing. not real time. Right. Mm. Yes. So that's a good thing of like, oh, I'm going to set a bunch of stuff before bed in the game or whatever it is. Now you need some marble planks. Uh, marble planks, so on and so forth. I actually don't have a ton of marble. Um, another thing I do also like about this game is I have these storage things. I haven't really done much to rename them, but you totally could. But even from within the storage, I can go over to the next things, which ah. is pretty nice. And it's just a nice kind of quality of life right. stuff that I like. Very handy. Um, and, and you can see I have, I haven't really organized stuff super well in here, but I have, you know, general ore and materials. I have, you know, sort of food and plant type items, and, you know, kind of random junk. Uh, but also, I don't necessarily need those in my inventory. If I have something close by, I could just be like, okay, I have a bunch of wood in my, my bin. I can make my practice sword or whatever it is. Okay. Um, so this is all the stuff that you can kind of automate to build and, and craft. Yes. So what do, you, what do you do? What is your action? You've got this pickaxe. What are you, what are you doing? I have this pickaxe. So I, I have to go. So you can see on the side, I have build the bridge, which is a thing that I, I have in here as well. For later on, uh, it should be, I think, where is it? It's in here of like, oh, you got to build. Yeah, Wooden I have to bridge. make these bridges, okay. which is sort of a story mission in the game. It'll progress me further along. I probably won't do that for this quick look. Don't necessarily want to get too into the spoilers. I'm relatively early on in the game. I think this is like two weeks game time. Um, but that these are my sort of goals, my commissions right now. And then a farmer, they want me to make planter boxes, which I would do in here. I'd go in here. I'd go over to my planter boxes, which I think is down here. Um, yeah, there it is. So I need to make three. So I need wood cutters. I need soil and I need feces, uh, which is animal Never poop. Never enough feces around. Yeah. Never so let's go. That's a fun thing. That's a little fun let's journey. Let's go we'll hunt take. for shit. Yeah. So as you see at the bottom, I have my HP, my health, mm -hmm. and I also have my stamina. Um, you see, I have some food items down here too, which can help with that stuff. So there's going to be some fighting involved to potentially get some of your um, stuff. Not for the, the doo-doos. Doo-doos are pretty easy. They're saying easy. that no one is defending their feces. No. The doo-doos are easy. Let's All get right. a pocket full of poop. All right. Not um, even going to put that in a plastic bag. Nah. Just going to shove it right in there. Yeah, you know. I also got some seeds out of it, which is always fun. So here's some colorful llamas. I can set up a trap for them. I can also just kill them. Want to see me kill one? I mean, no, but yes. Okay. For the sake of the quick look, yes. It kind of makes me sad to kill stuff a lot of the time because it they make it very cute. Sometimes I think I get bones out of it. I don't know. But these llamas are also pretty passive, so they're not going to fight you back. Yeah. But let's go fight something that will. So you can see there, I, I use some of my stamina killing that llama. Mm -hmm. um, also, here is a townsperson. We can go chat with them. Yeah, go hit them. Yes. Oh, this is a tourist. Oh, definitely hit them. Hello. Um, I, I can't really do much with her, I think, because she's a tourist. But we'll mm. go into town and talk to people a little later on. But I'll show you a sort of more realistic fight where they might actually fight you back. I have died very occasionally, but I would say all in all, fighting is not hard. I'm just kind of mashing a button. Wait, do those sea urchins, do they develop those umbrellas naturally, or are they just like finding these? Uh, I think it's a natural thing. I think they make them, because then you use their spines to make your own umbrellas. Okay, yeah, this all tracks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so this is sort of the general menu system. Uh, I could use my money, spend money to unlock a bunch of rows of inventory, which I really haven't done yet. Doesn't seem like you've needed it yet. Yeah, I, I'm still relatively early on. There's also a skill tree involved here. Good lord. Um, and it's kind of slow moving to get through this. It seems like there's a lot actually yes. here. This is definitely a longer, bigger game in mm -hmm. a lot of ways. So I, I just sort of upped my um, experience gained so I can hopefully level up faster. And then my stamina stuff of mastery of axe, mastery of pickaxe. I'll probably do this luck thing later on so I can just get more stamina gather stuff. Because right now my resources are sort of my goal. Right. Um, these are my missions here, which is what was listed on the side. You can see what I finished already, uh, which is sort of like here, you know, this they needed umbrellas in town. So he said I need more materials, so I, I basically fought a bunch of sea urchins, gathered a bunch of spines, and then I got these rewards at the bottom. One is loot, one was a recipe, one is 20, like, relationship points, experience, and then money. Okay. So that's usually the standard of, like, you get an item, you get, like, town rep and, like, relationship rep, experience, and then money. Got it. Yeah. Um, occasionally it'll be, like, like, this person in my done list, I got, oh, fixing the fence. Okay, never mind for this guy, but... There was one person who wanted uh, like a pair of like glasses because he was colorblind. Mm -hmm. So I gave him those glasses and because I did that, he opened up the barber shop. So now oh. we have a barber shop in town. So occasionally stuff like that will happen, which I think is more tied to like the story events. Gotcha. Um, 
This is my handbook and this is my social stuff. So I haven't really dug into this because it it does seem to take a long time to really get anyone. Yeah, I'm going to say, because you've been playing this for a little while. Yeah, I've been playing this for a few hours. I've been talking to folks. So you can see sort of like, There's no shortage of people to relationship with. Totally. So I've talked to Oaks a number of times and I've barely kind of got up on his little radar. Presley Um, though. Presley seems like you're making some headway. Presley. Yes. He is a guy I get like missions from so that's probably why so what is the difference between stars and hearts in these so i believe that means stars i can be their friend i can be their buddy hearts i can have a relationship with okay them. got it yes um and there's also a cat here that i did give a gift to pinky she doesn't like me though i gave her a freaking fish and she doesn't she's your care. adversary i know so pinky is that should pig. like me yeah qq uh um so this is the map which i honestly don't find super helpful for what's maybe obvious reasons, like I can zoom in and like see where I'm going. Yeah. But let's say I want to put, let's say I want to go to the abandoned ruins. Uh-huh. I'm going to put that up there uh, and look on my mini map and it's over there in kind of a very general sense. But if I run this way, I'm not really going to get to it. I have to go in town and then get over there. Okay. So I, I find that that's not particularly helpful a lot of the time. Especially for a map that seems like it's actually pretty sizable. Yeah, this isn't a small map and there's a lot of weird layers to it. Like you can sort of see in the back of the town there. There's like a different level of the town, Mm -hmm. uh, which can make things a little more complicated too and just a little bit confusing, Okay. which can be a bit frustrating because when I take on a mission, when I have to return it, so I take it from the town hall, which I'll go and show you now, but when I have to return that mission, I have to find the person in town and they're like moving around and walking around and I don't know their schedules necessarily. So I find that to be a little bit frustrating when sometimes it's like, I just want to drop this thing off, especially when it's timed. And, like, let's say I miss the window for that day and I have to wait till the whole next day when they're, like, open. You know right, what I mean? Right. Not, not asleep or whatever it is. Uh, so this is the main town hall. So this is the Commerce Guild. Um, what day of the week is it? Oh, Sunday. Okay, so nothing is going to be available because it's a weekend, which is kind of annoying. Hey, look. People need their weekends. Yeah, well, I want to work the weekend, okay? All right. Everybody's I got a job to do. Got it. So this guy's kind of annoying. He always calls himself pretty. I don't know. He is quite handsome. Yeah. I could spar. I don't know if I can spar with him in here, but we could maybe spar. I've never really sparred with... I think I maybe have once before sparred with somebody. No, so you're just, you're just having a fight. Yeah. Die. Not so pretty now, huh? Let's see what we get. Wow, this lady's egging us on. What we get for sparring. Boom, boom. Man, I'm kicking his ass. Who is that lady? She is like the town scientist. Okay. Let's say she kind of looks uh. like Doc Brown's daughter. <laughs> oh, cool. I got some money. And a, wow, our relationship went up because of that. Okay. Yeah, you know, people are into what they're into. Yeah. All right. That see dude you likes later. getting the shit kicked out of uh. him. <laughs> um, cool. All right. So, uh, another thing. So, it's kind of late in the day for this, but I'll do it just for the quick look's sake. Uh, is another thing I would generally do. I would probably wake up in the day, not exert my stamina at all, but I would go into these ruins to then find or etc. Okay. So I pop in. So there's a little bit of like a dungeon crawly. Oh, sugar. Um, okay. I don't have enough money. <laughs> okay. Um, so you have to pay money to go into the ruins I do. to steal It's like stuff? a weekly fee. Oh. Um, I just bought a bunch of clothes, which is why I don't have enough money. I might pop out and go to a different save that does. Let's see if I can sell anything real quick. I think I probably have stuff at home I could probably sell. Okay. I haven't really done a lot of selling or anything, um, but I can collect resources from around the town or like the area outside. Mm -hmm. And as far as I can tell, like trees and rocks seem to respawn. Okay. So I've been chopping these trees down again and again, and it seems to be okay. I can also kick trees and stuff will fall out of them. Not that one though. It, It happens eventually, there it goes. Some rubber plants, get some cocoons occasionally, some honey. Um, boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Boom. Let's get some wood. Boom, boom. Timber. Okay. And just fuck up, up that this. stump too. Yeah. Let's get all the go all the way with uh, it. There we go. Salt the earth while you're here. Yeah. Fuck nature. I can gather. Even gathering costs stamina. Um. So how? How big could your farm feasibly get? Very big. Okay. That's so. actually a good question. We can go into town and I can show you. There's also, I don't know if I showed off the farming quite yet. Um, I can look at check status. 
three days. Okay, and so you're like, growing some light crops at this point. Yes, which is mostly just for like selling and whatnot. Yeah. Um, it seems like you're very much at the crafting stage of, of this progression. I'm pretty early on. I haven't really been doing much for aesthetics or anything like that. You can later on. You can even have kids within the game. You can adopt kids. It seems to go pretty in depth. Um, I am obviously not there yet. Okay. Let's see. I feel like there's probably something I could make and then sell to get 200 monies. So, I know. Here's furniture. Okay, I don't have any marble, which is a sh real stinker. Um, let's do th five of these and see if we can sell them. I'm not sure how much I'll get for them. Cause I, like I said, I'm not really big on the selling. I usually just take commissions, which I unfortunately can't really do. Does it not communicate it how much you would make off selling those or... I feel like it probably says somewhere. I know it'll say when I go to the town. Um, so sometimes they'll say stuff, which makes me think they're giving me hints to like the things they want. Mm -hmm. But I don't really give gifts very often. Let's give him a bunch of meat and see what he likes. Oh, cool. Oh. All right, he was into it. You got him an Omaha Steak subscription. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Um, so I'm gonna go to the builder. So there are all these different shops in town. There's a little restaurant there. Mm -hmm. um, you got like a flower shop, I think that is. Some bread. Uh, but a lot of the stuff that I really have been using is stuff like this where it's like, this is a, the furniture man. So this is probably where I can sell these stools. Let's see how much we'll get for these. So the market price you see there is 90%, which is pretty good. I mean, I should probably wait till 100%. I'm getting one... Minus one yeah. possible. And it doesn't really matter, to be honest, because... you're just trying to get that money. Yeah, and this is not going to be nearly enough yeah. for um, the like my fee anyway. So I'll probably just hop into a different thing, a different save after okay. this day. So I can show you what it's like, but I can buy clothing, which I'm currently wearing, and they will offer you some... See, you have like a, a defense bonus and a stamina bonus. Uh, and I'm currently... This is sort of where I blew all my money was I got... I got these clothes got the other day. Got some level 10 business. Yeah. I didn't want to look like a total noob in the starter clothes. But, you know, you can buy some raw resources, which is not super worth it. I mean, I guess if you're super rich and just want to save time, you could. But I'm not there yet. Um, great. So another aspect of this game that I will show you that kind of goes into the lore. And the lore seems to... So there are basically these two kind of factions in town. There is like a church that is very anti-old technology. It seems like there was some kind of technology wipe a while ago. And they have a bunch of stuff from like our world today. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, sugar. This is all closed. Man, I the time stuff really gets me. Um, so we'll go to bed for the night and then I'll show you the morning. But they have the science center, which is sort of the other side of it. And they are very pro-science stuff. So when you go into the ruins, you collect these kind of data disks which are basically cds and you also collect pieces of like a telephone or whatever piece of technology it might be right and then you turn them into the uh i believe you turn them into the church for seeds or you turn them into the science center and then you get uh recipes and kind of blueprints to make different items gotcha so we'll go to bed for the night and i'll show you that stuff and then i will go to the um the other save a different save to show you the mining okay yeah but yeah, this game was in early access up until For like a, a few while, weeks ago. Yes, yeah, so I played it while it was in early access, and I there are a few things that I thought they would change that they didn't. Okay. Um, like I'll show you in the mining, especially. I thought I thought that was maybe a little bit of sort of like, oh, we'll add more stuff here, and it doesn't seem like they really did necessarily, which is fine. But um, I guess another thing before we go out is I do have this home panel so I can see my back stamina. I have like all of these bonuses because I have these things in my house. There's also a helper options, which makes me think I could hire a helper later on. Okay. And a helper log. Um, another thing that I haven't experienced yet in the game, I have food items just from like gathering and collecting and sort of being friends with people in town. Uh, but I can eventually purchase uh, like a grill. So I know that eventually I can make my own recipes and mm. figure out cooking and all of that stuff. Okay. Let's go to the research center. I mean, I will say that uh, not necessarily as someone who's played a lot of farming simulators, but someone mm -hmm. who, you know, knows people that are pretty obsessive about this genre. It seems like this is ticking most of the boxes of the things you would want out of a game like this. Yeah, totally. Like, I am definitely enjoying it. I'm having fun. I, you know, it's one of those things where I am very satisfied playing it. Mm -hmm. It is um, kind of a relaxing game in that sense. It's sort of slow. It takes its time. 
you're not going to check all the boxes you want every day you play. Um, but I'm, I'm having a good time, you know? Yeah. I mean, the appeal of these things is always very much like about building the life for yourself that you want out of the tools they give you. And you totally. know, I don't, I don't know many people who play these games and want to rush toward that. Right. That definitely will take some time. Yeah. Like I've said, I've played probably five or six hours of this and I'm not super far along. So this is one of those things, um, that I thought would be updated once it came out of early access, but I just, I'm not really sure what this is waiting on this kind of like maybe you need to make more news. I guess I can make put up ads oh mm, I guess maybe that'll get people to like ask for more commissions from me probably um, another thing I can show you is the uh, calendar there are events in town so we had a fishing day the other day which was like oh we go and fish and then I gave a fish I caught to the mayor mm -hmm. um, and he gave me I think some money for it and then later on day of the bright sun and there are seasons in the game which, as far as I can tell, only really affect people's birthdays, these um, these kind of in-town events, and the weather. And some crops are affected by it, but it doesn't seem like all of them are, as okay. far as I can tell. Um, it's less about the punishing nature of seasons than it is just sort of like the balance of it. Yeah, and the aesthetics of the game. Right. Uh, cool. All right. So I can talk to these people. These they, like You kind of see their routines over time. Like in the morning, these people are always sort of doing their calisthenics or whatever this is. Okay, see you later, some light, lady. Some light Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. Gotta do their toe touches. Mm -hmm. I did yoga this morning before work. How's that going? It was fine. I did it for a half hour, and I'm like, how effective is a half hour of working out? I'm not sure. Uh, It's it's enough to at least get the blood flowing. Yeah. Um, Petra. Yes. So if I... uh, I don't have five data discs, so let's see what happens if I try to give her five. Nope. But I would give her these data disks, and then she would, like, a few days later, mail me blueprints. Okay. Um, but there are other things I collect in the ruins, which I could take over to here. And then I have, you see the data disks, old uh. talker piece. So I have that old talker piece, which is how, like, the old talker piece one is the one I have, basically the receiver on the phone. Uh, so that's how I discovered this whole thing, is I found, like, one piece out of all of these so I can make them. I'm not sure exactly what happens once I do recover them. It looks like some are mission focused. That's what this sort of exclamation point is. If I had like a mission, it would it would be in here. Right. Um, but let's load up our other save. And then, oops, let's just load. Uh, okay, cool. Lots of money, but no cool clothes. I don't know. That t-shirt seemed all right. Yeah. Gets the job done. Might not have a great level, but you know, it's just, it's just stylish. Exactly. Um, Still got the hair tornado though. Yeah. And I also have worse pickaxes, but that's fine. So it just means cool couch. slower going. Yes, got my cool couch though. All right, take me to the ruins. Okay. So I enjoy mining. Uh, like I said, I thought they were going to add more to it. It's a little it's a pretty simplistic bare. process. Yeah. Uh, there's not like a lot of excitement you're going to discover within it. Occasionally you'll find like a fun couch, uh, but for the most part, you're just gathering resources. But so it's not like, it, it, like it, to compare to something like uh, uh, what was that game uh, you played last year, the Shopkeeper game. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Moonlighter. Like, where very much the rhythm of that game was like going into these ruins and actually engaging in some, some like right. light dungeon crawling for the other aspect. Like this is maybe not as involved. As no, like certainly that. not. And like I said, you kind of buy, I believe, these sort of passes for the week. Right. Uh, so I think even if I go into my calendar, I can see like it looks like, yeah, you see the little kind of white thing with the, like, gems in it. This is my last day right. for the ruins. So get what you can, otherwise you got to re-up. Exactly. Um, so these are some holes I already made. Mm -hmm. uh, it seems like someone else is in here with you. Day. Yeah, I can go talk to these people. It's just a tourist. Yep. All right. See you later. Uh, but when I go into the ruins, I get this jetpack, which I can Ooh. fly around with. Whee! And this is literally just like ter terrain deforming, like hunting for stuff inside the, yes. the rocks. So I also have these goggles. So when I do this, I can see where... Where something might be hiding. Yeah, okay. Doesn't well, like we're not really deep here. in, so let me just hop into one of these holes and then I'll be able to see stuff better, I think. Okay, oh, yeah, so I have stuff. this. I can highlight it. Now when I get out of it, I can still see where it is. Um... And all I do, and you can see, I don't know if you can notice there, there's sort of the browner stuff. Yeah. Uh, that's usually copper, sometimes sand. So it's just, you find deposits of, I guess, a more rare material. Oh, there's another couch. Sweet. Great. I'm putting that in my home. 
mean, I don't know what the hell apocalypse happened here that mm-hmm. fucking leather sofas are getting trapped in bedrock, <laughs> but you know what? It's cool. Yeah. So this is kind of all it is, and it's not not fun. But, but it's also not very involved. Yeah. There's not much to it, aside from maybe hunting for stuff. And the guides I say I read online are like, don't worry about that. Worry about getting the material you want. Otherwise, like you'll get the ruins, the ru- the you know, relic stuff as you as you kind of mine anyway. Right. But there are times when it's like, okay, looks like there's copper here. Not very much of it, but maybe I'll find like a copper deposit. Like here's more of it. Uh, but there really isn't. There's not not even a ton of resources that you really find down here. There's like copper. There's tin. There's a stone which you could find above land. The sand and the soil. And then also, I think marble occasionally. I, I I think also with better picks at pickaxes, excuse me, comes better items. Right. Which makes sense. And so, but. as far as you know, there's no like later game thing that lets you like automate this process at all. Like you can't send anything into the my the ruins to hunt for stuff for you, right? I haven't. I'm not sure. I haven't gotten that far. I don't okay. think so. Like I said, there is that sort of helper tab in my home, but mm. I. Th- I, I assume that is mostly just for farming, right. collecting items, and just sort of automating that process. That would that would make sense. Yeah. So here's sort of a bigger kind of copper deposit. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of it here. Um, but you can make yourself some shiny pennies. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's my time at Portia, my time at Portia, whatever you want to call it. How have you found your time at Portia? Have you enjoyed it so far? I have. It's not a game that's going to, you know, knock you off your feet necessarily, but it is a game that slowly you will just sort of be hooked in and want to keep going. Like, I am enjoying the kind of routine of it and sort of the loop of the game. It it seems like a a pretty decent spin on, you know, a well-worn farming genre. Yes. And, you know, I, I can't say that I've seen a whole lot of games that sort of use this kind of 3D presentation in this genre, so... Yeah, yeah. Seems, seems neat. I like it. And there's a lot to it. You know, like I said, you can have relationships. Oh, I'm like underneath the spawn area. Uh, the, you know, there's a lot here for you to explore, especially for those folks who do want to get more in depth with it. Uh, you can like expand your farm later on, like we talked about. You can kind of have kids. You can have a family. You can have all these options to sort of make things even more customizable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, Alrighty. thanks, Abby. Thank you.